helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Read my mind. Okay. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but. It's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Mike, wouldn't it be 
nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving. What's a Jenny? Hey, Mike. Gonna find the generator or what? Mike! Generator! All right, got it. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Damn. The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Some Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. You barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! Um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy.
All right, try it again. It's super heavy. But maybe you already loosened it a bit. Uh, uh, hey, Michael. I'm, like, pretty ripped and all, but I don't think I can move it. Any other bright ideas? Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Between the cart and the wall? The tiny little gap? Yeah, maybe you can just, you know, like shimmy through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the, right, okay, gotcha. Okay, so, why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? All right, don't move. I'm coming in. Better hurry up before some other hunky beefcake gets <laughs> Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> ah! whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh holy ah. crap! Gosh, are you okay? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Well, when Josh said cabin, I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Yeah. I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Uh, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay, let me see.
Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> He's all bunched up. Say so gross! Like diseases and shit. Josh, then you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. how it's gonna be.
stuff. Somewhere in this crazy place, we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Wait, are you saying we should have a seance? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No, hey, bro, I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. And I just wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? Well, neither, if he doesn't go for it, which knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. I'll look, I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. doing here? 
Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. It's okay. I'm just try again. Ah! Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this time. Sure. regular about it. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> what do you care, pretty face? No, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, madam. Nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you 
do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> OK, OK, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, OK? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Hello, Earth to Matt. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Madam. Why, thank you, sir. Hey, ma'am. Yeah? I think we should start the weekend over. Right now. Clean slate. Oh? No arguing. No mic. No jazz, just you and me enjoying ourselves and all this nature. Oh, you mean oh natural? Damn straight. I can get with that. Be somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? That's weird. What are you doing, weirdo? What? I came back. Good boy. Now obey. Matt. Yeah? Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy.
Oh, it's so pretty out here tonight. Wow. Yeah. It's so nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this all for us. Like a gentleman. Oh, come on, let's look around. your hand in it. Day, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! <gasps> Crap, M. Oh, right. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> Too easy. That's me, Mr. Easy. Oh, come on. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not bite. <laughs> you are, madam. Thank you. Oh my, very impressive. I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? Then how do you feel about people who are afraid? Emily has quite a fear of failure. Do you feel bad for her? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. Now, 
Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? <laughs> so you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.